Once again, I would recognize this on the test as a very easy arithmetized opportunity because I can see that all of the end numbers for the choices are different. So if I make x equals zero, it's gonna knock out all those front pieces and I'm only gonna get down to one answer. The, the risk with arithmetize is sometimes we get multiple answers. We'll deal with that in future questions. But right now I can see that if I just make x equal to zero, this is gonna solve itself, right? This is three times zero plus five is five. Three times five is 15. 15 minus six is nine. That's it, I'm looking for a nine. Which one has a nine? C. That's it. This takes even less time than the algebra. All this work I'm even showing on the page is just stuff I'm showing you because that's how I wanted you to understand what's going on in my brain, but I'm not doing this on my scratch paper on the real test. This arithmetize is so easy, I'm just doing it in my head. It really takes no time at all for me to see that it's gonna be three times five is 15 minus six. I can do that arithmetic in my head. If you can't, then you've got other problems with math that you need to resolve because the whole point of arithmetize is to turn algebra into arithmetic. Now again, I know the algebra here is not particularly hard, but hopefully you're getting my point that neither is the arithmetic. And so if we get used to the arithmetic and how arithmetize is gonna work, we're gonna be very confident with this strategy for when we need it the most on the hard questions. Use it whenever you can when you practice and you'll have it ready to go when you really need it on the test.